Well, I haven't put up a video because we don't really have great internet. Uh, probably put one up when we get to Vermont. Uh, but we're, we were going to go today, but uh, had to have a little change of plans. Uh, so Nikki and Derek are both busy, etc. So tomorrow we'll head up to Vermont. So this afternoon we're headed to Walmart, pick up a few things, gas up the car, and that way we'll leave early. We'll get a good day in and then we'll be able to uh, uh, hopefully we're going to start putting putting the driveway in first I tried talking to the stars but they didn't have the heart to listen I tried tapping myself apart Sometimes it's the only way to fix it So I settle down Find another reason to run away, run away Even out of town Okay, next stop Oh, I gotta get gas Might as well fill up because we got half a tank and tomorrow we gotta go to Vermont so it's just easier to do it. It's actually not too far from there. Oh and then we have to go to Market Basket. For I don't know. Something to eat? If we go to uh, Lone Oak. No I don't want ice cream. So I just stopped and got gas and uh, uh oh ambulance. Unlike in the Lutheran, you have to pull over to the side when there's an ambulance. There's no blockage, so it's not a problem. But, back to what I was saying. Um, I went into the store. In New Hampshire. In New Hampshire. And there was a man coming up, so I held the door for him. And he says to me, oh, thank you, sir. And I was like, okay. So I get to the cash register, and the lady at the cash register says, oh, uh, what can I help you with, sir? So I was like, why are you... Just... And it, it happens quite frequently. I don't understand why. So is it the gray hair? Is it the, you know, shirt? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I have jeans on and, you know, nothing fancy or... I think it's the shirt. I don't know. Could be the shirt, could be the hair, could be the glasses. Maybe it's the glasses. <laughs> I don't know, but it happens an awful lot, and I don't consider this being a fancy dressed. But everyone else wears t-shirts and ball caps, so you don't have a ball cap on, and you don't have a grubby t-shirt on, yeah, you I have suppose. a shirt shirt. I guess, but that doesn't really sort of... You could actually of, put a tie with that. I could put a tie, but I did that all through high school, so I don't know. And then after that. that. <laughs> so, I don't know why, why people... And it happens, I mean, it happens in the airports, it happens on planes. I don't know why people, like, respect you. <laughs> <laughs> I got a, a new roaster, um, because the one I had, or have, in Eleuthera, I think I'd done, like, 320 roasts with that. Uh, and it's a, that one's a Fresh Roast SR500. So this is the Fresh Roast SR540. The controls are a little different. Uh, I did one roast this afternoon, and I, it's a little hard to see and everything else. So it didn't come out exactly uh, as I wanted. So there's gonna be a little experimentation with this one, as there will be when I get the uh, much bigger roaster that does you know three, three pounds at a shot. But you know, I can still be doing something, still doing some more experimenting, uh, because different coffees take it different ways, and you know, some of them I'm trying a little darker, but then if I get too dark, they start picking up the oils, and I'm trying to stay away from picking up too much of the oil, um, you know, over a long time. Some of those, some of those coffees don't get the oil until days or a week later, so. I still like to avoid it altogether, but get the great taste. It is 6 a.m., right? Yeah, 6 a.m. Uh, it gets a lot lighter in the north early in the morning. On the other side of the coin, by fall, the winter, 
It doesn't get light till God, barely stays light. Let's put it that way. But this morning we're headed to Vermont. Uh, we're gonna start. I think we're gonna put the. I'm hoping we're gonna put the driveway in. Uh, do some excavating. Not all today. Uh, and potentially do the septic system. So hopefully that all goes well. Hopefully it's dried up enough. <laughs> Strawberries. Well, the flowers do. Yeah. When are strawberries in season? Fourth of July. Okay, so we still got another month to go before strawberries. Nope. Nope. No little alpacas out today. No early morning rock climbers. Still a little snow up there. This is the top of uh, Crawford's Notch, and that big building up there is uh, what is it called Highland Center. It's uh, you know you can stop uh, for hikers in the White Mountains. Speaking of which, that's going to be Sid next year with her poles. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I think you could do it. <laughs> I don't like bugs. <laughs> you don't like bugs. Oh, okay. You could get a like a net. Yeah. <laughs> somebody follow me, follow me. Thought I felt somebody following This is uh, Bethlehem, New Hampshire. Or 
part of it. As far as I know, there's two golf courses just on this road. This is the second one right here. Back there was the first one. Three miles to Canada. And crossing over the river. And we're in Vermont. flowers out. Just a couple weeks ago, there was nothing. That's how quick it can happen. It does happen. Oh, camper's there, ready for the summer season. I think we need a little road grading now. Dandelions. Must be plenty of bees now. This is the start. This part of the driveway is just going to be changed a little bit down there. I want to get rid of that bend. Uh, but <clears throat> we're going to start putting the driveway in through here. And I don't know if you, you probably can't see the little red stakes, but you'll see as the day progresses, I hope, uh, we'll be able to do a little bit better on that. Okay, the first of many loads. That's Burke Mountain, and uh, you can see the ski trails, no snow on that one. Uh, so this is where we're going to be living in a few months. Uh, we lived here before. We actually bought, see that farmhouse there? We bought that and then had, well, all this land, a lot of land. And have sold off pieces, bits and pieces over time. But uh, now we're going to be up there where you saw. This is our daughter's house that I'm standing at. So this is uh, road fabric. So you put your gravel on top of the road fabric and that's how we do driveways around here. <clears throat> this keeps it, got the dirt underneath, doesn't come up, mud doesn't come up. It just makes a hard driveway and it's relatively easy. Back there is gonna be big parking area. I don't know if you can see the stakes, but the house is right in there. So this will be the view that we have.
had a good day. We got, uh, I'd say, 85, 90% of the driveway done. Uh, we'll finish that off uh, tomorrow. We're working on the sort of parking area. So we've got some more gravel to get for that. And then we'll work on the, uh, we have to do a lot of uh, measuring and adjusting for the septic system, for the, for the tank. And then there's a box and where the bed is and all that kind of stuff. So probably Saturday afternoon and then we got to dig the house. So it's going well so far. Thank you.